this video might end up going really badly wrong for me, whatever I score in GeoGuessr at the end of the five rounds, I have to donate that amount to charity. So if I was to get a perfect score and get 25,000 points, I would have to give 25,000 pounds to charity. So in this video, we are going to be trying to get the lowest score possible because whatever we score, we will lose. So we're going to play on Diverse Worlds, the most popular GeoGuessr map, and here we go. So stick around till the end of the video so you can find out exactly how much it is we end up donating to charity after the five rounds. Okay, so I'm assuming from this we are in maybe Ukraine. So we're in kind of Eastern Europe, could be Romania perhaps. So actually, that looks like there's a bit of red on that registration plate. So we're not EU. Where are we? Potentially, we could be in South America here. If I end up on the right continent, that's going to end up being like a thousand pounds that I have to donate. I don't want to lose a thousand pounds for a second channel GeoGuessr video. So I really want to work out where we are. Oh, it's a bit of a tricky one. I feel like I was completely wrong. We might actually be in South America right now. Nah, look at these ladies. This has got to be Russia, hasn't it? Yeah, it must be Russia. That's why I was immediately thinking Ukraine. I could do something, some text on some signs or something. All I've seen so far are numbers. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yes, I was right. It's somewhere like Ukraine or Russia. So we need to go as far away from there as possible. Oh, and I should have said, I can't guess in the ocean and I can't just guess in Antarctica because that's cheating, all right? We need a bit of a challenge. So the risk is it could be anywhere in Russia, which is obviously massive. So where's going to guarantee us no points? Because if we go too far in the United States, like we go there, we could end up accidentally being really close to where it is. And then that's when this gets very, very expensive. So I think I want to go Uruguay. Because <laughs> it's not so close to the west of South America that it potentially starts getting near to Russia again. But it's also still really far away. So we're going Uruguay. I'm nervous. I genuinely am. I think we should be safe there though, maybe. Guess. I've earned one point. So, so far, I have to give one pound to charity. It was... Oh, my God. It was Kyrgyzstan. It was a hard one to begin with because it's one of them Slavic countries. All right. Let's play the next round. Where are we here? This looks way, way warmer. This looks like it could be South America to me. Villa de Escape Hara. I think that sign says. Looking at the cars, it does look like Mexico. Can we get over there? What's that? John Deere. John Deere or a tractor company. Well, there's a sign that I nearly missed. What does it say? Attention. Isino Zona Earth. And what's happening here? Who are they? I'd like to see that bus, please. I don't think I can get to the other side. Pozinella. Mm, what do you think? Should we try and confirm the country or should we just guess somewhere very far away from South America? Last one, we plonked down our cursor in South America, whereas this time we're trying to avoid it at all points. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably Mexico. Just because the cars, they're very American looking, so I didn't think we'd be too far away from the United States. But really, we could be any of these countries down here. So with that being said, do we want to maybe flip it and and go in Kyrgyzstan. Let's go exactly where we were in the previous round. Let's go for it. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we were down in Argentina. So we've basically done an exact flip from round one. And we have earned the exact same score, which is one point, And therefore, we now owe two pounds to charity. We are being very generous today. Also, probably worth mentioning, I'm doing two games. And I'm adding up my score. And that money is going to charity. So far, things are going well. All it takes is for me to slip up. You saw I've got the continent right, but I've got the country wrong both times. Even if I get a low score like 130, that's 130 quid, which I don't want to lose today. But once again... Again, looking at this dialect, I would assume we are somewhere like, I don't know, maybe Bulgaria. Let's do a little bit more exploring. Are we in the EU? Can we tell that? We might not be able to see registration plates. It's a much nicer area than the round one was. So I don't think we're in Kazakhstan anymore. Maybe we're in Belarus. We could be in Belarus, you know. Look how pleasant it is. Look how hilly it is. But yeah, maybe we are. I think this could be where we are. Where do we want to plonk ourselves? If we are there, then being really far away, way too risky going right there because we might be in Russia. Russia's a very big area and if we end up being here and we've gone there, that's thousands of pounds that we are losing. So we could go at the bottom of South Africa. Maybe we'd be safe going in New Zealand, to be fair. I think we would. I'm trying to think how many points we'd get if it turned out to be there and we've gone here. Surely we wouldn't get very many at all. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to go New Zealand. I'm going to go really far at the bottom. I'm going to go to Invercargill because I've been there. I was only there one night. It was really weird. There was a lot of crime in that area. So let's go right there and hopefully... We're pretty far away. <laughs> 
What? Where were we? Ah, oh, we were in Russia, but very, very near to Finland, which is why it looked so nice. I was so confused then. Third time in a row, we've earned just one singular point. We're doing well. This is what I wanted. Okay, we are now in Asia. Um, so where is this then? Is it South Korea? I think that's Korean, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is Korea. Look at the nice buildings. I like the look of the buildings a lot. Oh, look at that one. Epic. Absolutely unreal. And the fact that it's got English translations suggests maybe we're somewhere in Seoul. Yeah, we could be there because there's the National Park and you can see. Oh, look at that. I reckon that's where we are. How do we avoid that area? I guess we want to put ourselves maybe in the United Kingdom this time. Because I would say with how far over this side of the world we are, we want to make sure we avoid this continent at all costs. And New Zealand, where we went last time, that was dangerous. So we could potentially, we could go for Iceland, maybe right here. Yeah, let's go Iceland. We're definitely not in Iceland. So I think that's a safe risk to take. Also, Greenland is off the table, by the way. That's also cheating because you can just see how much space it takes up. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, oh, it was South Korea. It wasn't so Oh, it was the bottom. Oh, it's gotten a little pricey. That's 55 quid. So that means 58 pounds to charity. That's an amount that I'm quite happy to be giving away to a good cause. It's the risk of it going into the hundreds, which is what I'm not budgeted for. But we also have to remember we've got another round. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, no parking. That's a sign in English. And then we've got a stop sign. Ah, oh, we're in America, I believe. Maybe Canada. What does that say? Welcome to Hornpin. Where's Hornpin? If it's America, I'm sure we'll find an American flag in no time at all. Oh, what's that flag? Is that a very old Canadian flag? Oh no, there's a dog. That's not a national flag at all. And then what's that flag? Is that the Canadian flag? What's this one? Why are all of the flags twisted in this area? I'm sick of it. I'm trying to get a good look at them. If it's America, we're not going to have an issue finding the American flag because Americans love telling people they're American. Whoa, there we go. It is the Canadian flag. That's what we saw further down the street, but they were all twisted, so I couldn't confirm 100%. But okay, we're in Canada. So if we're in Canada up here, we need to go Africa. Is that safe? I think that we get too many points if we go anywhere up in Russia, perhaps just in the middle. Yeah, Muskrat in Oman, down towards India in the Middle East. Yes, we're gonna try for that. I don't think that's too close. Guess. Ooh, a little bit pricey. It was Canada and that's 12 pounds. So in the end, 70 pounds to charity. That's fine. I'm okay with that. If we can do the same again, then that is a nice amount of charity. Anyway, here we go on round one. We are, oh, this is where it gets scary because we're kind of indistinguishable because like this could be Africa. I don't think it is, but it could be. And like it could be Australia. Could even be some places in South America. But this is where I get very frightened. What is there to go on? Look, we've got a cyclist. This could even be somewhere in Asia. Oh, I can't believe we've been hit with a round like this. Looking at the car puts me more towards somewhere in America, maybe. But that's not much to go on at all because it's just a 4x4, four four, isn't it? Owned by someone that works on a farm. Got cows. The cows aren't very English-looking cows. They're more kind of South American-looking cows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what we need. We are overtaking a bus. T-A Agua Dulce 84. Give us some more clues. Go at the back of the bus. It's all mucky. It's really mucky. Go at the front of the bus. Get a look at the driver, if possible. I can't see the driver. Tucker, man. Right, so I don't think it's English. English then, but we still don't 100% know if we're in somewhere kind of green in Africa or South America. It seems more likely to be South America, but there are a few areas like this in Africa, even though that might be surprising. See, look at this. I've just literally just turned around a corner. Look, watch the climate change. What You see this dirty road and all the dry grass, and it's very warm all of a sudden, and somewhere in Africa becomes way more likely, which means I'm scared to guess somewhere. I need to go to Northern Hemisphere, somewhere that's really chilly. We're not getting anywhere so I think I'm gonna try Russia right at the top that should be a safe bet shouldn't it because it's a big spot so I think it's most likely somewhere in South America so we are really far away there I think ah! it was South America that's two points okay so it was actually Argentina that was a weird one that was really difficult so that is two pounds so far 72 pound total right where's this are we in UK I dare say we potentially could be it looks very much like the UK we could be in Wales I reckon. What's this say? Glen. Ah, it's Glen Golf Course. We're in Scotland. Okay, so we need to avoid here. How do we avoid here? By going in Australia. I think that would be a safe bet, wouldn't it? In fact, go even further. We'll go New Zealand. That's far away, isn't it? That should be fine. I'm not worried about that one. There we go. So we were so far away, over 11,000 miles, that we didn't even score any points. So that's good. Okay, next one. Where are we here? So we're somewhere in Asia again. I'm not 100% sure which country that would be. I'm presuming it's Japan, but of course I could be wrong. So let us keep moving. It is a very nice spot, I will add. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Look how cool it is. Look at this area. Right, do you think we should just guess? Wherever it is, is very nice, and we shall take note of the destination. I think we want to...
to be. We need to avoid this continent, and then I guess that means we could go Iceland, and we should be safe in Iceland. Let's guess. Oh, that ended up pricier than I wanted. Oh, we were not in Japan. We were in Taiwan. I don't really know very much about geography. This was a risky video. <laughs> All right, that's another 30 quid. It's adding up a bit, to be honest. Uh, what have we got this time? I do not know. Somewhere in South America, I reckon. But at this stage, it could also perhaps be somewhere like Spain. Benasal. All right, that's a thousand meters away. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Albocasa and Castello. They are not too far away from here. Duly noted. Thank you. Uh, Aries Villa Franca. We might actually be in Spain. Could be Spain, Portugal. Could be Mexico. Comuna Valenciana. Pova Romiga, Mastila, Montabana. I actually think we're in one of these countries, you know. But maybe not. <laughs> Do you think we'd be safe going in Asia? I'm not sure we would be. Because we don't want to score hundreds. Because that's bloody expensive. Oh, God. We have another round after this. I've just remembered. <gasps> I want to try and get a look at the registration. Oh, for God's sake. Give me a look at the registration plate. Go on. That could be a blurry bit of blue. Nothing confirmed, though. Nothing confirmed. That blurry bit of blue will tell me whether we're in Europe or whether we're in South America. But unfortunately, I can't properly see the blurry bit of blue. And there's absolutely no traffic. Looks unreal, though. It would be a very fun place to drive, but not a very fun place to try and guess where you are. These poles mean something. I've seen a GeoGuessr tips video distantly in my brain, and I feel like that means we are in Portugal. But I could be wrong. Should we go for it? It's about taking risks. Ah, Valencia. Is that what it said on the sign? It might just be a similar word is the trouble, but I think that we're in this area of the planet. So with that being said, do we go towards the tip of Russia, but then risk being a bit too close to South America? Or do we go up in the tip of Alaska? Actually, that should be a good spot. But what if it's South America? I could try this obscure island in Russia. That's quite far away from stuff. I think I'm going to try there. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh my god, why is that so many points? Well, we are... We are making a big loss on this video. Why is that so many points? It was Spain, it was Valencia. Oh god, 200 quid. And we've got another round. <laughs> Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, subscribe, please. Thank you very much. I should have gone over here. I should have gone right there. Oh my god, we're going to be spending over 300 pounds. Where are we here? Look at that car. We're somewhere very tropical. Oh, good god. What have we got here then? Let's have a look. Love to find out. We've got, it's a motorcycle shop. Okay, interesting. Doesn't really give me very much. I don't know where this is. Hawaii? Why not? Industry. Um, any flags or anything at the front? Can't see any. PT, Metagola, what do we want to do? We've got some here. Something is happening on the 19th of November, potentially. But I've no idea what. I don't know that architecture. <laughs> I don't know where we are. It could be somewhere in Asia as well, you know. Yeah, I think this is somewhere like Malaysia or Indonesia. 20 Batang. RP. We're somewhere around here, aren't we? Well, with that being said, I'm gonna go at the top of Sweden and hope that that's okay. I think we should be safe there. That should be a low score. Let's guess. It was Indonesia, I think, was it? Yes, it was. 16. Nice. So that time. Oh! <laughs> so let's add that. And now we owe 350 pounds to charity. Way more than I was anticipating. 30,000 likes on this video and I will do the same thing again. It was quite fun and, you know, it would give money to charitable causes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Just proof of donation. I'll see you later.